Hi guys, welcome back to a fresh video. So today we're going to be looking at force building. Uh, if you already know all about force building, uh, feel free to skip on to the, about the two minute mark where I go over this list and why I'm picking this particular list. So if you're new to list building and you've never seen this before, forces, flames of war is where you want to go to. Once you're there, uh, you can see on the left there's some quick links. That's going to link you to all of the books that they've released currently in version 4 uh, and their associated lists in those books. So it's good to get the book and it's also good to use Forces website. This is the official Battlefront list making website. So this is where you probably want to be using your list. Oh sorry, building your list. Uh, it won't let you build any list without creating an account. So you want to go ahead and create yourself an account. Just an FYI guys, this is a paid tool. So if you want to use the lists here, you all have to pay money for them. But as you can see, it has every possible uh, list that you can build within these books. And it's a pretty user-friendly uh, tool as well. So if I want to uh, build a Yag Panther Tank Hunter company, I'm going to go ahead and click that. Take note of the part number that's just below that, which is LG400. It's going to then bring you to this page. This is where you purchase that formation. So uh, as you can see with the Panther Tank Company just below where I've highlighted, there's four different options. That's where that part number comes in incredibly important. So you get the right one that you're trying to build a list from. Once you've done that, you've paid, you will then have access to it. My list is from the Bargration German book. So my list that I'm building is a tournament list that I recently used and it performed really well for me. So it might be of some use for people that are new or existing. So I used a Panzer Grenadier company. Um, it was meant to be based for uh, Bulge, but the Bulge book hadn't been released at the time of me uh, playing this tournament. So I used the Bargration book. As you can see, there's three black boxes here and some gray boxes. Those black boxes are boxes you have to take. So I have to take a Panzer Grenadier Company HQ, which is worth four points. You get an MP40 rate of fire of three whilst halted and moving, anti-tank of one and a firepower of six. So essentially just a grenade. Um, uh, and it also has a Panzer fast. So you get the rate of fire of one, anti-tank 12 and firepower 5 plus. Note that they can only use uh, one per turn. That's why it's limited to one, uh, unless insulting, I believe. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit return to formation. I have to take a Panzer Grenadier platoon. So I'm gonna take seven stands. The more stands, the, the stronger they're gonna be and the less likely they will uh, run away. So with these seven stands, you're gonna get MG42 teams of rate of fire of three, whilst halted and then moving is two, anti-tank of two and firepower of six plus. They also get um, Panzer fast. No, I haven't uh, included a Panzer Shrek in this one just because I'm trying to save on points. If I wanted to include that Panzer Shrek, I'll just hit the box underneath options. The next one has three options. You only have to take one, um, or you can only take one, sorry. So I'm gonna take the Armored Panzer Grenadier Company. So just like before, I'm going to take seven stands of MG42 teams, and then I'm going to be including four half tracks in there. So that's the 14 points there. Um, with that, I'm also going to replace one of them with a 3.7 centimeter gun. I don't have a half track with a 3.7 centimeter gun in my collection, so I'm using a two centimeter cannon instead to show that there's a difference. And then just like any transport, you get a pretty basic weapon, which is just the MG42. Um, now moving on to the gray boxes, and there's quite a few options here, but I want to go for the Panzer 470 tank platoon. I'm going to hit the box which says free, because 27 points is a lot of points towards pretty heavy armor, but this is probably the best armor that you can get uh, for the points in late war for the Germans, in my opinion. It's um, anti-tank 14, firepower of three plus, front armor of nine, side armor of four. So pretty much a panther without the turret that moves. So a really good weapon or tank um, to deal with heavy armor. Then I'm going to move to um, some armored 7.5 centimeter gun platoons. So that's four half tracks for six points. Anti-tank of nine, firepower three plus. A fantastic 
tool for dealing with medium to light vehicles also getting out those infantry that are dug in if you can be really sneaky you can sneak these up behind enemy uh, tanks and pretty much destroy them heavy tanks included in that as well so all around a fantastic vehicle in my opinion again there's some other options there but i want to go with some anti-tank uh, guns so i'm only going to be selecting two here i like to have just a little ambush unit i don't know why it's just something i've i've gone with so i'm going to go with two uh pack 40s within that pack 40 um that's going to make them quite weak because there's only the two stands so if i lose one there's a really good chance that the other one's probably going to run away before it's done anything of use but a really good ambush unit you'll get a rate of fire of uh two per gun so you'll get four when you pop your ambush and that's anti-tank 12 firepower 3 plus so a really good gun to use um, if you want to sneakily get a couple of tank kills once i'm done there i'm going to hit the two i'm going to hit save and then return to formation within the formation myself itself sorry there's 69 points uh, of, of stuff there i'm probably not going to put any more in there it's a really strong formation and it's going to be hard to to sort of destroy um, as you can see, there's plenty of other stuff that we can look at, but I really want to get those points down in the formation. So I'm going to have a look at some of the command cards that I can use in the Bargration uh, book. Um, and I want to reduce the points. So I'm going to be looking at something that sort of reduces the effectiveness of my infantry. So the 20th Panzer Division NCO shortage is a really good card for that. So it just adds on the counter attack of five plus so you don't want to want to be assaulting with these guys and then a tactics of four plus so it only affects the panzer grenadier hq panzer grenadier platoon and the armored panzer grenadier platoon that i've got so i'm only going to select three cards worth of this but that brings it down by six points those six points are going to come in really handy later on and you'll see why so I'm going to return to formation and then return to force because I'm finished with my command cards for now. And then there's going to be some grey boxes. These are all additional extras. This is the fun part. This is where you can get all your cool tanks and, and infantry and stuff uh, without having been, without being forced to take them. So I really want to add in some more firepower, but I want cheap firepower. My list is going to be quite defensive. So I'm going to see, I'm going to look at the anti tank tab, and you can see there's five options there, but I'm going to use the Marder Tank Hunter Platoon. Four Marders for 16 points with anti tank 12 and firepower 3 plus is just fantastic. It's just a pack 40 on wheels, um, but fantastic at ambushing, fantastic at picking off stuff at range because it's got 32 inches of range. So it's really good dealing with stuff like T34s and Shermans. This is really going to make a meal of those. Very weak, obviously, uh, open top and only front armor of one. So don't be expecting these to perform match for match with Shermans, uh, but just hope that your dice roll well. But honestly, guys, uh, these perform really well for me in the tournament, so I highly recommend them. I also wanted to add some artillery. So artillery is a big one. People use smoke very well in this game, as long as you don't forget to use it. So you want something that's either going to provide smoke or it's going to have a really big template. The one thing that's going to give you a really big template is rocket artillery. So the 15 centimeter Nebelwerf battery, it's really good for dislodging infantry, especially pinning a horde of Russian infantry, for example. Um, so it's got 64 inches of range uses a salvo template anti-tank 2 and uh, firepower 4 plus so it can destroy vehicles light vehicles um like half tracks and, and small tracked vehicles for example um, but you're going to be using this for dislodging infantry and, and taking out static guns and stuff like that really uh good with that bigger template so i highly recommend something like this um especially if you're playing as the germans I also want to add an observer. Um, I like an observer. The Panzer Free OP uh, observation post is a good option. It's got plenty of armor um, for what for the job it does. Um, it also has an MG. So worst case scenario, it can support your infantry. And I've had to do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I um, have had to do it. Uh, but again, it's just a, a another vehicle that can spot. Uh, 
artillery targets for you opposed to having to use your HQ or the actual um, artillery unit itself, which makes it a bit tricky. If you want to sort of hide it, then you're not really going to be getting many targets without an OP. Now I'm up to pretty much as many points as I can really spend other than 16. So that last 16 points is going to be put to use with some Hetzer tank hunters. So not as good in terms of the firepower um, or the anti-tank rating. So sorry, the firepower is good. The anti-tank rating is lower than Armada. So it's anti-tank 11, firepower 3 plus. This is going to be a tank that I'm going to be using to hit medium medium tanks. So Sherman's um, tank T-34s, tanks like that. I'm not going to be trying to put these up against ISUs unless I'm trying to pop them in the side. But even then, I don't think they'll I would really achieve that unless I get really close. Um, but a good unit, it's got good armor, seven, front armor of seven, side armor of three, and a top armor of one. So all around a pretty, pretty good, um, pretty good tank for the points. So that's the list. I want to actually see what I've done now. So I want to see it. I want to know exactly what I've got. If you want to do that, you hit view force. Once you hit view force, it's going to take you to this page. This page is going to show you all of the stuff you selected and all the points associated with that stuff. Um, so as you can see, 69 points in the uh, formation, 42 points in support, and minus six in the command card. So I've got to add that minus six to the formation, and then that gives me the 105 points. And this is the list that I took to the tournament and, and it performed really well for me. But I needed to print it off. Uh, so I print, I hit the print tab, but you can also download it as a PDF and then that prints it off exactly how you see it now. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. As you can see, my uh, Hetzers tried to sneakily attack some ISU uh, 222s, I think they are, um, hidden in some wheat fields, but they didn't really achieve the goal uh, of, of doing any damage because he just sort of turned them to the front and... Um, yeah, it wasn't as eventful as I would have liked. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I really hope this has been of help for anyone new. If you really want me to get into it properly, then yeah, let me know in the comments. But I'll catch you guys at the next one. Thanks. Bye.